Hello and welcome to the uh, Global Poker League and a new segment here at the uh, GPL. We're uh, asking our guest pros here at the GPL to uh, run us through a hand in detail um, from the GPL. Um, our guest for the last uh, few days has been Mr. Jonathan Little of the Las Vegas Moneymakers. He's going to take us through a hand between Anatoly Filosov and George Danza from the Eurasian um, Heads Up phase. Um, it was the hand that those of you watching on the night will uh, remember pretty well. Very explosive hand. Uh, Jonathan, uh, what happened in this hand? All right, so we're playing 200-400. It is only the third hand of the day, as you can see. That all the information is at the top of the table. And Anatoly is going to raise with pocket sixes, which is a very standard play. And then George is going to call. So, as you see, we have a min raise to 800. And in this spot, George could three bet, but you'll see a lot of the best players just call with hands like this, because if they re-raise and get much action, they're usually not loving it from out of position. So flop comes king nine five, giving George a set, which he is absolutely loving. I mean, whenever you flop a set, you're thrilled heads up. He is going to check. And then Anatoly, with his marginal underpair, elects to check behind. And the reason for that is, is that if he bets and gets called, he's often pretty unhappy. So he lets it go check check, which is perfectly fine in standard play. So it turns another king, and George could certainly bet here, but he probably thinks that Anatoly has, at best, a nine. So most likely Anatoly has some sort of ace high type hand that may call one bet, but George really wants to get two or more bets into this pot. So he decides to check. I think checking and betting are both fine plays. I think you should vary it, mix it up, keep your opponent guessing. So he checks. And then after a bit of thought, Anatoly is going to throw out a value bet. This is a spot where, again, you could go either way. If you value bet now on the turn, you could easily get called by ace high, you can get called by queen jack, stuff like that. So I think Anatoly's turn bet is reasonable. I think also checking is a fine play and just planning to check down, you know, maybe put in one bet on the river. Notice Anatoly does make a relatively small bet that can get called by the queen highs and by ace highs. He would not want to make a bet of 1600 in this spot because then he's only going to be getting called when he's beat. So he does make the bet of 840 and now it's back to George Danzer, who has effectively the nuts. He is thrilled. He is loving it. And he's taking his time. Remember, this is only the third hand of this match, the, the first match that these two played against each other. So they probably both do not know too much about what each other do. So I, I think people generally perceive George to be a very creative player, and creative players make creative plays. So um, he check raises to 2575, 2575, and now it's back to Anatoly. So he has to put in 1,700 more chips to try to win this 5,000 pot, as you see it's right there on the table, and he decides to call, which I think is a little bit loose, but he probably thinks that George is only check raising there with the nuts, like a king, or a full house, or a bluff, like queen jack. Then the uh, six hits the river. Yeah, yeah that changes good, things a little. This is a good river for Anatoly. <laughs> yeah, kind of. So George has to still assume he has the best hand. He is loving this spot. He is happy as could be. He's certainly going to value bet, and he's just really hoping Anatoly has a nine or maybe even a king that is very, very set up. So a value bet's certainly a, a good play. Checking the river doesn't make a whole lot of sense because your opponent's gonna check behind if he has a nine. Whenever you take a very strong line, like check raise in the turn, when your opponents do call you, they usually have a hand that's not going to bet again on the river if you check. So George does make a small bet, trying to get called by a nine, maybe a hand like pocket sevens. Or maybe just makes this bet with this whole range. It's difficult to know. Who knows what a lot of these world-class players are doing? They play fantastically well. We've seen that Anatoly's raised it to uh, sort of almost 13,000 here. Um, what's, what's George thinking at this point? Well, George is now thinking, wow, I actually lose a lot here. Because when Anatoly raises, you want to ask yourself, what is Anatoly's value raising range? Which hands does Anatoly think are the nuts here? So... If I had to guess, it'd be a hand like king 10 or better. I mean, it, once you start getting much worse than that, it becomes somewhat likely you are dominated if you have a king or three kings. He may also raise some bluffs, so I think folding is out of the question for George. I want to make it clear. George, George should not be folding on this river. I mean, we, we remember I mean, when George was uh, talking through the hand, he, at one point, he did sort of reason with himself or, or ask himself, could he be ever folding this hand? Do you think this ever, could ever be a fold? No. And the reason for that is just because this hand is way too high in George's range. I mean, this is pretty much the best hand George could have, one of the best hands George could have. 
and Anatoly could be overvaluing, not really overvaluing, but just trying to get full value out of a hand like King Queen. But the real question is, should he re-raise to try to get full value from a hand like King Queen? And I think the answer is no, because if he does go all in and he gets called, Anatoly just has probably King Queen or better, and he may even find a big fold in hand like King Queen, given the very odd way this hand's played out. So this is a spot where I think virtually all amateur players look at their full house and think it's the nuts. But we and were talking about this hand before the show, and I, I, I mean, as, as an amateur player, I, I mean, you often kind of King Queen often comes into your kind of thoughts regarding like your opponent in a situation like this, which would sort of present an argument for um, for shoving for George. But obviously, George far far too good a player to kind of fall for that. Also, the players don't know each other that well. I think that's important. If George knew that Anatoly was just crazy and would pay off with King Four or something like that, then yeah, he probably should go for it. But he does decide to just call, and he loses the pot. And a lot of people in the spot get really depressed and think they screwed something up. But in reality, he made a full house versus full house heads up, and he only lost a third of his stack. Yeah. And I believe he ended up losing this game after a long battle, but he gave himself many opportunities to come back, and I think he actually took over the chip lead again in that game. So he did a very good job not going broke in this hand, and he gave himself at least a shot to win. Thank you, Jonathan. Well, that, that's it for this particular uh, segment, guys. Uh, join us again next time for our strategy segment. We'll have a few more um, sessions with uh, our guest uh, on the moment, at the moment on the GPL. Um, and we'll have future segments with other guests. So uh, join us again next time. Adios. Connect with us on social media for league updates. And download our app, GPL TV, to stay on top of everything GPL.